Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Technology. So here you can see we have some product over here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can search anything in Laravel. So over here just after this our product will have a search option and we'll be able to search the product let's say by name or we'll be able to search the product by their category as well. So right now we'll do the search part. So first of all let's go and make the search box and the search button uh, just after this our product so let's go back to our code and we'll directly go to our resource then views and inside views we have home and inside home we have user based dot blade dot php and if we go down uh, here you can see we include a lot of thing header slider arrival and here you can see home dot product which is uh, this section here you can see this is the home dot uh, product section which is this one and so we'll like to directly go to our home and then the product.blade.php so this is the home folder and inside home we have product.blade.php this one so here you can see our products which is uh, this part so after this we'll make the search option so for it let's just say over here a div and inside this div we'll say here form and inside the form i'm going to have a input type text uh, input type text and then let's say name equal to search and placeholder we'll have a placeholder it will be or uh, search for something and uh, we'll also have another input field which will be for the submit button so input type will be submit and it will have a value the value will be search we'll say over here hello it will be search so save then let's refresh here and here you can see we have the search option over here so let's have a little gap over here and let's also have this search box a little bigger so here before this div we are going to add a b attack let's say add to b attack and then in the input field we'll say over here style style will say here with it will be let's say 500 px save it refresh and there you go it's a little bigger now so right now what we want is that if we search something over here and then click search it will uh, show us that specific search so for it here we mention a form for the search so inside this form we are going to say here action then method and we'll also need to mention at the end of csrf token and in the method the method will be get since we want to get the data and show the data over here the search data that's why and let's say action will be two second bracket and inside it we'll say here url then two first bracket two single correction and let's say our url name will be pro duck underscore search so right now we'll go to web.php and create this url so let's go to route then web.php and let me just go down and let me copy this on control c then control v the route will be get or post route method will be get and here the url name was product underscore search let me just copy it and paste it here and let's say the function name will be product underscore search and we'll use this home controller so let's go to our app http controller then home controller and let me just directly go down and here i am going to say public function it will be product underscore search and then here we'll say request dollar request why request dollar request because we want to get the search text from here here you can see name equal to search we want to get the search text over here so that's why request dollar request and to second bracket so here first of all we'll get the search text so let's just declare a variable let's say variable name will be search underscore text equal to we'll say dollar request this arrow sign and then here we write name equal to search so we we'll say search so after this we are going to declare a variable over here so before we declare the variable let me just go to my product.play.php and here 
here uh, we show all the product over here and for it we write a for each loop uh, dollar product as dollar product and we'll declare a variable in the home controller which will be similar to this which will be this on dollar product whatever you have in the for each loop the first one uh, just declare it over here in the home controller for the search so we'll just copy this on dollar product and we'll paste here equal to right now we are going to mention our table name product table name and here you can see that our table name is product over here you can see product and you also need to make sure that you add the product model at the top over here like this uh, you need to make sure that you add the product model at the top of your controller so after this just write over here your table name which is product then give to double clone then we are going to say over here where to first bracket and then to single quotation and here for which data you want to search the product so here if you go that go to the table here you can see we have name i mean the title product title description image category price discount price a lot of things so let's say first we want to search the product by the title product title so here we write the title over here like this title so here we'll say just title then we'll give comma then we'll give again to single quotation then we'll say over here like like then again to single quotation but this time we'll also give two part sentence and inside this part sentence we are going to say this on dollar search text so let me just copy the dollar search underscore text and we'll paste it inside this two part sentence then we'll give this arrow sign and we'll see our here get so let me just explain it so here what will happen is that whatever we write in the search we'll get that text over here in this variable then we declare a variable dollar product equal to product where so we will be searching the product by the title which is similar to the search text then we will get the data and we store that data in this product variable and after this we need to return this uh, dollar product to our view so we will say over here return view to first bracket and here you can see our this view uh, whatever you are seeing over here this view is our which i already showed you over here home then user page dot blade dot php whatever you are seeing over here uh, is this view so and in the user page dot blade dot php we have the product included over here and we also have the comment and reply system over here as well so first of all let's go to our home controller and in this return view we are going to say here home dot user page then we'll see our here comma compact to first bracket to single quotation and here we are going to say this product so let's end it with a semicolon so right now if we save it then if we search for something we'll get some error but uh, let me just show you the error then we'll fix it on by on so here first of all uh, we are getting the search product data and returning the view to the home dot user page which is this on home dot user page dot blade dot php and our user page dot blade dot php include the home dot product which is this on home dot product and you can see the for each loop and at the end of the for each loop uh, we add the pagination over here here you can see we write this for pagination so in order to do the pagination we also need to do the pagination for the search as well uh, here uh, we need to write pagination stop gate but let me just show you the error if we just refresh here then if we just search something let's say short and click search it will give us an error about pagination okay if we go to our uh, the second one here you can see that it is giving me it is giving us the error over here pagination push tab that it could not find the pagination which is in the uh, product.blade.php over here so instead of get what we are going to do is that we'll give this arrow sign and we'll see over here paginate to first bracket and let's say paginate will be 10 uh, if we save it now and if we if we now go back and if we now refresh here and if we search something this time we'll get a different error 
because here if you go down here you can see comment and reply and those comment and reply are coming from the database table but we do not send that comment and reply data in this compact uh, so that's why we'll get the error so let's just search chart again click search and here you can see undefined variable comment so for it what we'll do is that let me just go at the top and here you can see public function index here we send the product we already have product for the search so here you can see comment comment order by get and the reply reply all so we'll just copy those two and we will also compact those comment and reply over here as well so let's go down and uh, here we're going to set paste those comment equal to comment we'll get all the comment then we'll get all the reply as well then inside this compact we'll give comma to single quotation and we'll say over here comment then again comma to single quotation and we'll say over here reply so save and then let's just go back and let's refresh here and let's search for chart again this is the chart we are searching by the title and if we click search okay nothing is showing over here let me just check so instead of single quotation we'll give over here double quotation let's just remove the single quotation here and we'll give double quotation instead of single quotation so this should solve our issue or problem so let's save it and let's refresh here and here you can see sharp now if we search for let's say necklace and here you can see the necklace and we also have the title as a boutique for women if we just show over here boutique pot and press enter and here you can see it is showing us boutique for women we have toy laptop and mobile as well let's search for let's say a laptop and it is showing us the laptop and if i just write nothing click search it will show me everything over here so let's say we want to search by the product title and also by the product category so uh, for it uh, if you want to also search by the product category as well for that case all you have to do is that we just need to just after this text okay let me just remove this presentation 10 just for a while we'll require that but for before it we'll give this arrow sign and here let me just copy this control c and we'll say paste it over here and instead of where we are going to say or then capital w h e r e where and here title we want to search the product by category so we'll say over here category like search text then give this arrow sign and we'll say then paginate to first bracket 10 so right now we'll be able to search by the title and also by the category so let's save then let me just refresh here so right now we'll search by the category and here you can see boutique for women and for boutique for women and necklace the category is women so here if we just search over here women and press enter here you can see we we are seeing the necklace and the boutique for women then there is also toy and laptop uh, for them the category is actually the same samsung mobile and the toy so if i just say over here mobile and it is showing me the mobile over here but there is uh, one more thing that is if we search for man and then press enter here you can see it is showing me the man t-shirt and but it is also showing me the necklace and the woman dress as well and the reason is uh, if you go to our table here you can see that in the category we have man and in the category uh, at the end of the woman there is also man so uh, what it does is that if there is any similar thing matches with the text it will show that because we have given the percentage over here the percentage it, uh, what it does is that if there is any similar text it will show that product so uh, what we can do is that for category we can uh, remove the percentage this will not entirely solve the problem but it will solve the problem a little bit and if i now refresh uh, it will show us two product the necklace is gone because for the product title there is a boutique for women and 
the spelling is w o m e n so for the product title we have the past sentence uh, so that's why but for the product title we are not going to remove it we'll just keep it the way it is i think it's fine uh, for now at least so what will be the better option is that for category we'll have a like a separate option the rest of the thing will be similar just we'll just remove the past sentence for the product category so i hope you can do it by yourself you can just have a uh, like select option over here and let the customer or user select it and then it will show that specific product but i think for now this is fine so this is all about this tutorial and uh, okay one more thing and that is here you can see that uh, if i write shard and press enter here you can see it's reloading but it is still keeping me on the same place and uh, why is that and the reason is uh, let me just show you if i i just saved a link over here and here you can see refresh page and keep scroll position it means uh, after refreshing it will keep us on the same position and for it i'll just go a little down and here you can see this will do the magic uh, i just copy this skip part this skip code and i paste it in my let me go to my home then user paste.blade.php i just paste that skip code over here you can see this is the skip from here and what it does is that after refreshing the page, it will keep us on the same position. If I just remove this, save it, then refresh. And if I now search for something, let's say man, refresh, and it will took us at the beginning. But if I just keep the skip part over here, save, then if I just refresh here, and if i search for let's say woman click search it is keeping uh, keeping us on the same position so yeah so this is the thing so i'll give this link in the description so that you can copy it out by yourself so thank you very much for watching if you have any question or any any problem let me know in the comment section or if you face any critical problem you can mail me or send me message to my facebook account i have given my facebook account link in in the description you can follow me there as well so thanks again for watching, stay tuned and stay healthy.